Hi, welcome to this video highlighting the basic features in Jaspersoft Studio. This video explores the pixel perfect design environment within Jaspersoft Studio. Shows how to connect to a data source, how to use Studio to build a simple report, and how to run and export the report. Let's look at the Jaspersoft Studio design environment. This is the default perspective when working with Jaspersoft Studio. A sample report is included to demonstrate its reporting capabilities. The repository and project explorers are available at the upper left. These explorers display the content of Jasper Reports server connections, any connected data adapters and all other resources like reports, images and property files. The outline is located at the lower left, displaying the report's XML hierarchy for easy navigation. The palette, located in the upper right corner of the studio, contains all the available elements that can be added to a report. When an element is selected, the properties view appears in the lower right, enabling configuration of its various options. Now that we have taken a look at Jaspersoft Studio, let's build our first report. To build a report, select File New. Then select the Jasper Report option. The new report wizard opens. Next, let's select a template for our report. There are multiple built-in templates available to get started quickly. A blank template allows full customization. We can effortlessly generate reports specific to our requirements using custom templates. Let's select one of the built-in templates and click Next. Here, we can see the project folders used to organize the reports. Let's choose the folder, name the new file and click Next. In the data source section of the report wizard, we can either pick a data adapter we have already set up, or create a new one right there. For this example, let us use the built-in sample data that comes with Jaspersoft. Select the sample data adapter. A window pops up showing the tables that can be used. Let's select the orders table with columns for imagined IDs, destinations, shipping dates, and other relevant information. Let us now write a short SQL query using this table. The table currently shows available columns. For this report, we shall select order ID, employee ID, freight, and specific shipping details. To start configuring the report, click Finish. The template is displayed within the design space in the studio environment. This template uses bands, which are sections containing the elements that form the report's content. These bands function uniquely based on their defined rules allowing for precise customization of report appearance. The first page of the report will include a title and a description. The title will be displayed prominently as a static text field, as the description. The header band is next. It displays column names from the database and appears at the top of every page, helping to identify the fields in the report. The detail band forms the main content of the report and uses expressions to retrieve and display data rows from the database. Below it, the page footer includes expressions for displaying the current date and page number. To begin setting up a report, the first step is to eliminate any unnecessary fields. For this report, the employee associated with each order is not needed. So, let's remove the employee field and its header by right-clicking on them. Now, there's a large space between the order ID field and the subsequent data. To address this, move the freight field along with its header. However, instead of moving other fields, widen the ship name column to prevent the view from becoming too crowded. Drag to utilize the auto-align feature, fitting the element into a desired position. The freight field in the current report displays excessive decimal places, which is unnecessary as the report aims to provide a general understanding of order size. Let us modify the appearance of the freight field. In the Properties dialog, Navigate to the Text Field tab and click Edit. The Expression Editor in Jaspersoft Studio opens. This editor enables users to efficiently construct expressions using provided functions and variables. Consequently, text fields can be dynamically populated based on the report's conditions. So, to change those decimals to whole numbers, let's highlight the part we want to change, pick the right spot, and then double click on Int Value. Now, let us add a unit to the expression. 
Add a plus sign followed by kilogram within double quotes. Click Finish. Before finalizing the report, let's refine it for better readability and understanding. Let's start by renaming the column headers. This can be done by simply double clicking on the field names. Next, let us add a brief description and a new title to provide better context. To ensure accuracy, let's preview the report. This helps us to identify any potential errors upon export. Open the preview tab. This action runs the current report, allowing us to visualize its appearance and assess its compilation time. This outlines how a report is generated from a template. The title band shows unchanging text on the first page. The column header band is displayed on every subsequent page, containing consistent column titles. Next, the detail band dynamically presents data values from the dataset using expressions. Finally, the page footer shows the date and page number at the bottom of each page. Now let us save the report. To save, locate the export button at the top of the preview area. Click on the drop down menu. The available file formats in Jaspersoft Studio are shown. Let us save it as a PDF. After selecting PDF, choose a destination and proceed with the export. Upon opening the exported file, the report is successfully rendered in PDF format. Jaspersoft's Pixel Perfect capabilities ensure that reports render precisely as designed, regardless of the chosen export format. To summarize, we started by touring the studio design environment. We then walked through the process of creating a new report by connecting to a data source. Next, we added and configured the various elements to refine the report. Finally, we previewed the report to check for errors and exported it as a PDF. After creating a report, you may wish to share it with others. You can find the links to the tutorial on scheduling and delivering reports, as well as our product documentation in the video description. Thank you for watching.